Hello, welcome to Vlogmas Day 22. To be honest, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to be doing about Vlogmas. It turns out my laptop is not quite up to speed on what it needs to be for this sort of thing. And I've really struggled the last couple of days to edit anything at all. My mouse just keeps stopping working. And this morning I tried to edit a video and I just didn't give up. So I'm not quite sure what's going to happen. You might not be seeing these until we get our January tax bill. And I know whether or not I can afford a new laptop because really I'm not quite sure. seeing this I'm afraid and I'm really quite disappointed because the point of vlogmas is you video every day and you edit every day and I'm disappointed that I'm gonna just have to stop when I'm so close to the end um, and I've been struggling the last couple of days to get my editing to work at all and it's just really slowed me down and unfortunately my husband Chris who is the technology expert in the house is too busy with work he is that classic cheesy Christmas film character who is just too stressed out by work at Christmas to enjoy it um, which is a shame. Unfortunately we don't live in Hollywood land and we have a mortgage to pay so instead of editing I've got the house to get ready. Um, as you can see look this is our kitchen table. This is what it looks like at the moment and in a couple of days I'm going to have 12 people sitting around there eating so I kind of have a lot of work to do there. This is what our guest room looks like and in a couple of days we're going to have lots of people sleeping in here. You wouldn't believe how much stuff has already come out of this room uh, so but as you can see there's still quite a lot of work to do and actually I won't even show you the basement where the rest of the family are sleeping. Um, there's a lot of work to do there as well. <sighs> so Maybe it's just as well as like I can't edit because as you can see I've got a lot to do and it's only a couple of days and I'm feeling Christmassy and I really want to just relax and enjoy it now so I'm going to try and get this done and out of the way. But the sun is shining and it's a lovely day so I'm going to be able to get out and get that ivy in which I didn't quite manage to do on the winter solstice which is a shame. I've now got a trip to the dump. We've got some very old tellies to take out the way and an old computer chair and other bits and pieces. So that's my day update. What a glamorous and exciting life I lead. Well, we're back from the tip and it's suddenly come over really dark. So I'm going to pop outside and do that ivy gathering that I wanted to do. Well, it stopped raining, so I thought I'd better quickly take the dog out. And now, actually, look at this. You can see it. Look at the sun and the landscape over there. Oh dear. It's a beautiful world. What was I going to say? I thought I'd bring the camera with me because there are two deer that are currently sort of settled themselves at the bottom of this field and twice now I've seen them when I haven't had the camera which is just typical so I'm so I'm going to be bringing you with me now until I catch them I love seeing wild deer now shall I tell you why there's deer in this area King Henry VIII used to come hunting on those fields over there where it's called the park if you are a Glastonbury festival goer let me get this right. That field there, I think that's the right one, is called the park field where Emily Evis has her park stage. And I think that it's called the park because that was the deer park where they used to go hunting. And so that's why we still have deer in the area. There you go. Little fun fact about Pilton for you. Wow, that's just beautiful.
it's starting to rain again. I need to hurry back because I'm just wearing a shawl because my coat from yesterday's walk is still absolutely completely wet through. Oh, now I've got to practically run up this hill so I don't get too wet. Oh goodness me, British weather, isn't it wonderful? <laughs> right, I'm doing my table decoration. I've got these berries which I picked yesterday which are nice and bright white and I thought that's a little bit different. Oh, although some of them are looking a little bit... Look at that brown one wiggling away. I will uh, take that one off though. <laughs> so I've got those. I've got this plant which is um, like a daisy type flower in the summer which I thought was quite an unusual sort of quite white foliage. I might get more of that, it's just outside the back door so I can always get more of that if I want to. And I've got, that's my pile of ivy that I picked earlier. I also have some eucalyptus. I deliberately planted eucalyptus in the garden because all the Country Living Christmas magazines all say pick some eucalyptus and it will smell lovely and hang it around your house at Christmas. I can't say that the smell is all that distinctive. I smelt it when I cut it, but it doesn't smell anymore. So I, I have been a little disappointed. All the magazines say, oh, the smell of eucalyptus. N no, I don't get any smell from these leaves whatsoever. But they look pretty. They look quite unusual. And um, even where it's got a sort of rusty red color, it looks nice. So I'm going to use some of that. Some of the ivy flowers. And also I bought from Tesco's the other day. Well, yesterday I bought this bunch here for £1.25. Brilliant. Quite pleased with that. So I'm going to take the pink flowers out and use those in the kitchen and the white ones I shall put in the living room. And I also, because I, I wasn't expecting to get that, so I'd already bought these bunches of carnations which are £1.50 a pack. So I've actually probably got too many flowers than I can manage, but I'll see how I go. Oh, and so far my vessels, I bought three copper Victorian measuring jugs from eBay. This I think was one of those plants where you see the bulb growing down and it flowers up as a Christmas present and cute fluffy help. but um, I've just had an idea. Well, look at this. They're Instagram ready. <laughs> Obviously, I've just done my Instagram. But um, these ivy bits here, I mean, how perfect are they for spraying like with fake snow or glitter or something? So I would say it's finished. Oh, it looks so pretty. I'm so pleased with it. I love those colors, pink and green. I mean, I know it's not very Christmassy, but those are the sort of theme colors for my kitchen anyway. Sorry about that, my battery died. So, what was I saying? Yeah, all these ivy bits, I'm going to try and find some sort of snow spray or glitter spray, because I think that is what it needs to make it a little bit more festive. So the rest of the ivy, I'm now just gonna fling about the place, chuck it over the cupboards, over the dresses, over the pictures and all that sort of thing and hopefully all this will last now until after Christmas. We've actually got guests right round till I think the 3rd of January, so I might have to tweak a few things um, before then, but hopefully I'm really pleased with this plant that I've got in the kitchen windowsill. I'm not quite sure what tree it is, it might be you. Um, it's obviously some sort of evergreen pine, but I gave it a fresh load of water yesterday and it's perked right up. <laughs> I have just had a genius idea. I went and had a look at my crafty stash and I found this kit called Perfect Pearls. 
okay that's what they look like they're little pots of pigment powder which contain built-in resins which means that um, you can get permanent looks with them these are so pretty but I hardly ever find the use for them because usually when I'm scrapbooking it still comes off on your hands but I thought I would have a try at putting them on those ivy seed heads so this is what I've done so far and it actually oh it's it looks better in the camera than it does in real life actually it's not quite as bright as that in real life but it looks really really good I'm so pleased with it so I'm gonna quickly go over all of these seed heads in copper to match my copper jugs and my copper candle things at the moment I'm just getting the pigment out of the lid and using the brush that the set came with I'm just going to sort of dab it on the flower. And now I know I can do this with these powders. I'm definitely going to do that. I'm going to, I've got a whole bunch of um, like autumn seed heads. And I just think all oh, different metallics. Oh, that would look so cool. It looks so pretty. And yeah, so I'm really excited about this. <laughs> is that really silly i'm really excited about dabbing some metallic powder onto ivy seed heads <laughs> oh well such is my life it makes you happy coppery ivy seed heads completed and now I have a really cool glittery copper hand. Okay, well it's the end of the day and I'm off to bed. I've done some wrapping at last. This is my first load of wrapping. Oh, actually there's a couple of, no, there's a couple of things on show there. I'm gonna hopefully decorate, at the moment it's just brown paper. I will hopefully decorate that tomorrow. And I didn't quite get time to fling the ivy around the house so I shall do that tomorrow but I'm very happy with my little flower arrangements oh I'll show you what I've done with them at the moment and look since the shopping came we now have a lovely full fruit bowl I do like a full fruit bowl there was one measly apple in there before so I've just lined them up it'd be better if there wasn't like a horrible orange pack of um cat food in the way and all the mess at the end of the table so I still need to deal with that but I'm getting there there I've got the three copper measuring jugs in a row with the candles in between which I thought was quite lovely and I've put the glass vase in this dish which I will fill with water and light the floating candles tomorrow um, that used to be my table centerpiece but um, I thought I'd do something different this year and also these little jugs and candles are nice and easy to pick up and move. When you have 11 people around a table that should really only seat six, of course, you don't have space to have a table centerpiece that will have to be moved to somewhere else. So at least these, this is nice and quick and easy. I can just put those on the windowsill. But I still like having them there at, this, at the moment. And I think they look really pretty, really pleased with that. Anyway, like I said, I do ramble. I'm off to bed and I will see you tomorrow. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, please subscribe. It would be lovely to have you back. And I'll see you soon. Bye.